how do I forget? The, the one with Arquid. The, the what Melty Blood's based off. Shit. Tsukihime. Yeah, there you go. And then there's. Uh, I just saw this one recently. It's like the last anime I saw. It's a fighting one. The guy has blonde spiked hair. And it's like a fighting thing. And like. Ah, oh, brain, what, why don't you remember things, man? Iki Tosin. No, that's not it. I see that one too, Iki Tosin. That's not it. Tenjo Tenge, there you go. Brain. <laughs> okay, uh... I can't remember the things. I've seen a couple of them, I'm sure. But then there's, a. Uh, there's this one I made, I started watching, I can't remember what it was called, but it's like, some guy goes into like medieval times, and he meets this, it's like really fucking funny, but I can't remember, like he meets this chick, or like the king or whatever, and he's supposed to do stuff, dude, I wish I could remember, but I don't, oh, another one I remember, um, Dot Hag Twilight of the uh, Bracelet or something like that, Twilight of the Spirit Bracelet, I seen that one, that one was really fun to watch, okay, and top three enemies, I already answered that, so that's Avatar the Last Airbender, uh, Magic Narrator, Princess 9. Those are the best and Argue. Derriere44. Hey, what's up, Derriere? He says, My grandma hasn't done it. Okay. Number one, favorite type of medieval weapon. Medieval. Does, does, does like, claws count as medieval weapon? Because if so, then, yeah, I'll take some claws. Like, gauntlet claws. <laughs> that Wolverine shit. Weapon X! Oh, fuck. I'm gonna cut you in your face, bud. Okay, number two. Who were you talking to on the phone for one to two hours during the last stream? I love her. <laughs> one I love. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, wait. Nah, well, love's a strong word, then. Okay. The one that I truly, truly admire and want to love. Uh, let's see. Three, will you be posting on Twitter how, you find, how to find your pets? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I definitely will. Uh, once I get a... Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> Before, what are the origins of your username? I don't know. I hope nobody asks me this. I, didn't, I don't really want to see... Oh, well, if you guys want to know the story, I'll give you the short right now. I'll prepare myself. Okay, so, um, back when, uh, in the American Republic, I was four years old, right, and I had this childhood friend, and her name was Sylvia, so, I mean, me and Sylvia, we were friends for years, like, we were just more than friends, we were, she was my first love, okay, so she was my first love, and, uh, I've dated her for 14 years, mm -hmm. and, um, well, like, we gave each other nicknames, so uh, she called me Atma, I called her Illumina, okay? So that's that's the whole story behind it. So I, in memory of her, I, I combined the two names and made it my own. So, and, I mean, you know, it's funny, I think back on it, like, back when we did this, like, I didn't know about Final Fantasy VI, a friend of mine actually pointed this out. He's like, oh, whoa, you Atma weapon from Final Fantasy VI? And I never thought of it like that, I was like, wait a second, you're right. And, you know, I was like, you know, that's a, kind of like a coincidence. Because I've always liked that enemy, you know, the Atma enemy. I was like, this is such a nice enemy. And, you know, and it's the same name that I share, you know. So it's kind of cool to have a little badass image like that. But, and then it was not until, like, really, really late in my teen years that I realized that there was a sword in Final Fantasy VI called Illumina. And I'm like, isn't that fucking, like, the most odd coincidence of all? You know, because there's a sword called the Atma Weapon, there's a sword called Illumina, and the Illumina is stronger, and it's just like so much, it's just such a coincidence. It's such a coincidence, and I'm like, but F, even then, FF6 is not my favorite FF game, it's FF4. But FF6 is a definite, I would have to say it's like a tie almost, but if not, it's a definite second. So that's the story behind my name. Five, favorite Legend of Zelda game, Link to the Past, let's move on. So number six, what was your game of the year? Xenoblade Chronicles. 
I am pissed that the Video Game War didn't even, like, acknowledge this game. Just went by, right past it. Like, fuck Video Games of War. F fuck all that shit. All they focus on is, like, PS3, 360. They don't focus on the really, really hard to find, like, the good gems. Fuck them. They're stupid. That's why I don't follow the gaming, in, in, like, infos and shit like that. I make my own info. And finally, and you know I had to ask, what's your favorite sandwich? Some bread with ketchup? <laughs> no, seriously, yeah, that's fucking delicious. <laughs> okay, um, number one by Morksver. What was the most expensive thing you bought? Wow, okay. Back when I worked in the in a library, okay, uh, I was dating this one girl, and I spent nine hundred dollars on this necklace, and I gave it to her, right? And I thought that would that would secure like that would secure my relationship with her, but she like ran off, and it's so, like I spent money for nothing. What are you gonna do, you know? Two, will you be LP in PS2 Castlevania's Lament of Innocence and Cursed Darkness? Yes, I will. I'm gonna do all the Castlevania. Oh shit, Castlevania 1 took me 20 years to be. Castlevania 3 took me a while, like 10 years, but I'm not looking forward to playing those. I'm gonna do those last, hopefully. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that's it for Mork's Verd. Old Dark Link asks Meh, my question is any future plans for Jello the Let's Plays other than Skyward Sword? I saw that one video. Don't know. It would, it would depend on. If I liked it, well, Twilight Princess, I might do that one day. That's a fun game. It was really fun. It was really enjoyable. That's the one Zelda game I 100 percent legit without using, like, a guide. Uh, yeah. I, I never actually 100 percented A Link to the Past. I've never beat that game. But it's my favorite one. Okay, there's an interesting story behind why I've never even beat that game. That game scares me. Like, like I said, a lot of people will not understand the way I think because I think very, very, like, out there. Like, it's just, it's just I can't even admit that myself. Sometimes I surprise myself with what I think of. Like, that game is the most mature Zelda game. Like, okay, I just, okay, every game that I play, like, well, Zelda games specifically, I dream about them. Okay, I can, you know, I can show you what I showed my friend the other day. show you all the drawings I had for Zelda for like a link to no sorry a link to the past the link to the past one was back home this one is Wind Waker okay I drew this a long time ago like you can look at like look you can see there's no lines on the pages like you can see that you see that, that red line there you can't even see the other lines that's how faded this page is but, right this is um, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker when I, when I first learned about it like when I dreamt about it and I drew the images in my head because back then I used to draw my dreams or write them out so this was so i never forget this game i knew i had to write draw it right and i wrote a, par a paragraph about it but i can't find it but okay it's not at all like i mean there's some resemblance but okay this is the boat as you can probably tell this is the the boat the king of the red lines there's the red lines okay i don't know what this is yet because i haven't this might be the the three the tri the triforce thing that like the orbs and stuff, but I don't know. Um, this is the main villain guy. Oh, let me put him up close. Damn, this is hard. This is the main villain dude. Okay, I don't know who this is supposed to be right here, but this is the main villain. I don't remember what this is, okay? Uh, this is an eye thing. I forgot what this was. Uh, I wrote it down the other day. I forgot what that was. I was doing an in-depth analysis. This is the maiden. This is, uh, uh, I don't know who this is yet. This is the maiden. And then this is... I forget what this is. Oh, this is, uh, I think it's supposed to be Maxwell. I think so. Like, maybe a face I'll see later on. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That was Tetra, wasn't it? Yeah, I think this was Tetra's face. I remember this specifically. Okay, and a girl I was dating back then wrote this. I don't know what this means. Leon? 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 Lion? Wait, Lion? Lion. I, I thought I said Leon. I, I didn't even, I never even considered it saying lion okay that's even more conclusive proof that this pole right here is king of red lines like, like just let me put it up close you can see the design of it 
It's just like, it's definitely the king of red lines, okay? I drew this back in junior high school. So this is old, old stuff. I have not drawn in ages, but this is, this is a junior high school drawing. Like, it's so old. And I, I gotta keep it safe, because I like to keep my memories like that. Okay, so that's, what was I talking about again? <laughs> Alright, so right, Link to the Past, I find it scary because the, the games that I draw, as you can see, this is nothing like, um, what's that game Wind Waker. It's not at all like it, you know, like, it's, it resembles it, but in the dream, it was much more mature than the kiddiest version of Wind Waker that we see in the last play, okay? It was very mature, it had some adult themes, it was bloody, you know, all this and that. So when I dream about these things, it, it's dreamt in a realistic manner. So, when I dreamt about Link to the Past, there's some things that still scar me today that I saw, that I don't want to talk about. And um, when I, and it was real, when I saw it in the, in the, when I played Link to the Past, I was like, I never believed it. You know, that sanctuary thing, that do 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 that song, I dreamt that shit as well. So, for the longest time, I didn't know where I heard that song until I remember my dream, and then all of a sudden, everything just rushed back to me. And then there, the dream, everything, everything that happened. And as more, the more I played it, the more I had chills, and the more I didn't want to play it anymore. Because I didn't want to reach that ultimate truth. I still don't know the ending to that game, man. I've, been, I've done good to not spoil myself in the game for these last several decades. Like, it's... I'm not gonna spoil myself to this game. And one day I'll have the strength, but I don't want to reach that truth, you know. So I never, for that reason, I'll never let's play it into the past ever. It's my favorite game. It's a sacred, sacred Zelda game. It's too sacred. It should not be remade. It's perfect the way it is. It's perfect. Do not touch the game. Don't like. I would never even watch like hacks of it or even play hacks. I despise hacks of that game with a passion, that game is perfect, it should not be touched. So, yeah. Okay, then there's the next question. <sighs> Sorry, I keep glancing. Dom 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 950. What do you do for fun besides let's plays? Um Yeah, I know this is it today. For fun? I either do push-ups, you know, it's just something I do at push-ups. I uh, go on the internet and read an article, do jigsaw puzzles, uh, play a little bit of chess whenever I'm in the mood, but I don't really, I don't have done that in a while. Like, I've gotten out of that habit of playing chess. Um, I'll listen to music and I would write something, you know, like I would work on a book. Um, fun, huh? Mainly, oh, I have, okay. Show a little hit right here. I have. See, I have these Sudoku, Sudoku, how you say it, books. Like, most of them are just like filled out. They, you probably can't see most of them. Like, there's, there's no ink on it. Um, I did I did some with pens, I think. Where are the ones I did with pens? Like most of these are done with pencils for obvious reasons. Like, you know, let me just show you. Done with pencils and shit. Like, most of these, anyway. Finished most of this book. There's only a couple in, in the brutal section I can't even finish. And then there's, I got this new one. I got this new Sudoku book, which is a lot bigger, more puzzles and shit. And man, I do that for fun. This is great. I love Sudoku, man. And that's why I do for fun. Or I would go out in my car and I would just travel, ride around, go to a park somewhere. You know? Or I'll go to a beach. At least they told the beach out there. I go to a beach and just chill. Listen to the waves, listen to the seagull songs, just watch the sun go down. Good stuff. Okay, Shelly, hey! It's like, I couldn't help but laugh at 256-307. Also, bah, you are too popular, bro. No. Oh, let me try imitating your ace voice. How, how do you do it? You get to the digital alien with your shield. You're gonna laugh at that. Okay. You're trapped on a desert island with yourself. Five other Let's Players and only ten games. Who and what do you pick and why? You always ask this. <laughs> uh, if I'm traveling on a desert island, myself and five Let's Player. Okay, this is gonna surprise you because I'm not gonna pick some friends. <laughs> this is gonna surprise you. Okay, first of all, 
the only two friends I would pick is like Water Exist and Clank. That's it. No, so that's, that makes three of us. So that's two less players. The rest of them, I would pick um, Lele. Lele7201, the one I said earlier. Uh, I'll pick her. I'll pick. Uh, what's his name? Something in Dimension Time. It, it's. See, now I'm not gonna even remember. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Oh my god. 